Welcome fellow gamer, I'm Dune Mountain and in today's video we are diving deep into the world of L Divers 2 to explore the Automaton faction. Brace yourselves because this faction is composed of ruthless machines determined to tear you limb by limb. These intelligent and brutal machines will throw everything they have at you to eliminate not only you but also all the other L Divers in their path. Trust me, they are much more brutal than a single bug bite. I've analyzed every automaton enemy that I've encountered so far, and I have discovered their weaknesses and the best way to deal with them. While this video focuses mainly on cyborgs and their weaknesses, I will also share some specific cases where I will recommend the best weapon for the job. So buckle up your seatbelt and get ready because our spaceship is about to embark on a thrilling journey through deep space. Let's start with the Automaton Dropship. While it may not pose a direct threat to L-Divers, it serves as a method for the enemy to replenish his forces on the battlefield. By dropping more machines in your location, the Automatons gain a tactical advantage since they can appear from anywhere. To take out these dropships, well, you need a ton of firepower. Any sort of orbital strike should do the trick, but timing is crucial. Sometimes the dropships will be taken out as collateral damage during intense battles, as they are not worth prioritizing over the dozen of automatons they deploy. Next up, we have the MG Rider. These bipedal automatons armed with machine guns are the most basic enemies in the automaton faction. While they may seem easy to deal with, they pack a real punch with every shot. The only way to take down an MG Rider is to shoot it, of course, these machines go down quickly, but their long-range damage capabilities are stunning, so don't hesitate to eliminate them with whatever weapon you have at hand. Moving on to the Rocket Rider, a variant of the smaller bipedal robots equipped with a rocket launcher. They're thrown into battle by the automatons to add more firepower and aim to eliminate L-Divers. Just like the MG Riders, shoot them on sight with whatever weapon you have. While they go down quickly, their rockets can pose a serious threat, so don't ignore them. Now, let's talk about the Brawler, a small melee class automaton. Individually, they don't deal much damage, but as a part of a group, they can be quite harmful. Keep an eye out for them and destroy them early on. Brawlers can be taken down with any sort of gunfire, but spotting them can be a challenge. They excel at sneaking up on players, while other battles are going on, acting as the ultimate ambush machines. However, they can be easily distracted, so bump them with bullets and take cover to allow another player to deal with them if ammo is running low. So now prepare yourselves for the Berserkers, the nightmare of the Divers. These enemies wield dual chainsaws or arms, have red lights all over and seem like they are constantly screaming at you. They are designed to instill fear on their enemies' hearts, and they certainly achieve that. To take out a berserker, concentrate your fire on its glowing red middle part. It's a weak spot that will bring them down fast, however be cautious of their rush attacks, as they can be difficult to kill. It's best to run away and drop grenades if a swarm approaches, especially if the Berserker decides to jump into battle. The Marauder is a formidable trooper in the Automaton army. With his well-armored shell, it roams the battlefield in search of targets, relentlessly firing bullets and rockets at their targets. Taking down a Marauder in Eldar Wars 2 requires shooting it with any available weapons, although grenades and rockets are the most effective. If players aim for his puny head, they can also deal damage to the Marauder. The Devastator, on the other hand, is a melee class enemy in the Automaton army. It excels at getting up close to Helldivers and mauling them to death. However, Devastators are easily spotted and cannot surprise players unless they approach from behind. While they are slightly more well-armored than Riders, any form of gunfire, especially shotguns, can take them out. Heavy explosives are not necessary to defeat them. The Heavy Devastator 
is a larger version of the Devastator Automata, boosting even more armor. It takes a significant amount of damage to bring down a heavy Devastator, and it poses a serious threat to anything that gets too close. The only way to destroy a heavy Devastator is through a barrage of bullets. Players must deal with them swiftly, as they can quickly overwhelm the battlefield. Throwing grenades into an approaching crowd can thin their numbers and make them more manageable, but gunfire remains the most effective option. The Rocket Devastator is similar to the standard Devastator enemy, but it is armed with a rocket launcher. Breaking through its tough armor and shield requires players to blast it with any available weapons. Launching grenades in its general direction has proven to be successful in taking down rocket devastators, either by dealing significant damage or providing a distraction for other players to attack with heavy weaponry. The Strider is a unique soldier on stilts, standing above everyone in battle and wielding the ability to fire hundreds of bullets at once. Players must swiftly deal with Strider first by shooting them with all available weapons. Killing the automaton riding the trooper quickly is an effective method to take them down. Alternatively, targeting their legs can bring them down, as they are weak enough to cause the entire robot to collapse. The Hulks are well-defended automatons that stands at three times the height of an Eldiver. Armed with the ability to shoot from a distance, they pose a significant threat. However, they have a weakness. You can bring them down by aiming at their legs with any weapon. Destroying one leg in some missions has been enough to incapacitate the skull, highlighting their vulnerability. The Hulk Bruiser is a close-range specialist in Eldivers too. While its massive size prevents it from sneaking up on Eldivers, it packs a powerful punch when in close proximity. To defeat the Hulk Bruiser, players must distract it and shoot it from behind. The weak spot is on its upper back, and it can be exploited by landing a few shotgun blasts causing it to explode quickly. The Hulk Scorcher is a large bipedal automaton armed with the fire spewing and other devastating attacks. These enemies can absorb a significant amount of damage and requires you to use high damage weapons, grenades or stratagems to defeat them quickly. Taking them down from a distance with a high-powered weapon like the railgun is the most effective way to kill them. Alternatively, having one player distract the Oak Scorcher while others attack from behind builds positive results. When facing an Oak Scorcher, you have the option of strategically disabling its arms. While this approach can buy you valuable time, it's still dangerous, because keeping the Oak Scorcher alive it poses a significant risk to our divers. Therefore, players must carefully consider their approach to tackling the old Scorcher and weigh the potential consequences before engaging in combat. The Shredder tank and the Annihilator tank are two formidable adversaries in the world of Helldivers 2. These tanks pose immense power and durability, making them a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. To successfully defeat these tanks, you must employ strategic tactics and utilize your arsenal efficiently. The Shredder tank is a unique vehicle that combines the traits of a traditional tank with a devastating melee weapon. Its thick armor makes it nearly invulnerable to most forms of attack, rendering conventional firepower ineffective. However, there is a weakness that you can exploit to destroy the Shredder tank. By maneuvering behind the tank and targeting the weak spot on the back of his turret, you can deal significant damage and ultimately destroy the tank. Alternatively, players can unleash an orbital strike on top of the tank causing it to explode. However, it is crucial for players to clear the blast radius to ensure their survival. In contrast, the Annihilator tank is a colossal war machine that instills fear in the hearts of Eldivers. Its formidable armor plating makes it impervious to the most attacks, surpassing anything the Terminids have to offer. To dismantle the Annihilator tank, you must resort to higher-powered explosives, such as grenades and stratagems. These explosive devices can penetrate the tank's defenses and inflict substantial damage. Certain heavy weapons, like rocket launchers, can also prove effective, but their limited use makes them less viable on higher difficulties. 
to effectively defeat tanks in the Helldivers 2, you should employ a combination of cover, baiting tactics and effective use of your gear and items. Taking advantage of cover will help you avoid the tank's relentless firepower, allowing you to plan your attack more strategically. Utilizing the pick and shoot method will enable you to swiftly deal damage to the tanks while minimizing your own exposure. It is crucial to equip the best gear and items available, utilizing everything at your disposal, such as orbital attacks and airstrikes. Additionally, you can employ a baiting strategy, where one teammate distracts the tank while the others focus on dealing damage. This combination of tactics and coordination will greatly increase the chances of successfully defeating tanks in Helldivers 2. In conclusion, the Shredder tank, the Annihilator tank and the Old Scorcher are formidable adversaries in Helldivers 2. To overcome these powerful foes, you must identify their weaknesses and employ strategic tactics. By utilizing cover, baiting tactics and making effective use of your arsenal, you can triumph over these formidable tanks and emerge victorious in the battle. And before I go, I will ask you kindly what kind of video you would like to see in my next video about Helldivers 2. It will help the creation of more valuable content for you. So tell me in the comment section your ideas. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if so, consider clicking in the like or dislike button to help this channel find more players like you. And if you don't want to miss future content, please consider to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications from future content. And I will see you on my next video, but until then, have a nice day, good gaming, Toon Mountain out.